home for like a weekend, meet everybody, and then come back kind of a thing. Get it to one of them. The ones that aren't doing anything. This is a video, guys. Yeah. Oh, hey. Joe. Hey, guys. How are you guys feeling? I'm feeling good. You. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Math Marisa Fontaine, and I'm from Cape Town, South Africa. And I spent a year in Spain. So this is just me doing a little goodbye vlog about my exchange year in Spain. It was an incredible year. It was amazing. So that was the original purpose of these videos was to showcase um, the videos that I had then made. And obviously that never happened, so here I am now at the end of 12 months. Going home next week, so this will be excited to go home. And I just thought that I'd share. Let's see, so coming here. I had a lot of expectations about the things that I thought that I would learn and exchange gave me all of that and more and less. There's no other way to explain it. Um, so let's start at the beginning. I'm with Rotary Youth Exchange. I finished school in South Africa and then I took a gap year from January to January and I, I chose Spain and luckily I got Spain and then I was super super lucky um, to land in Madrid. So I spent 12 months in Madrid. And apart from learning another language, I've learned about another culture, another type of people, the Spanish way of living, definitely it's been, yeah, it's been, I've learned so much and it's just so amazing, everything that I've learned. So when people ask me, so what are we going to do there, I would say, okay, I'm going to study and I'm going to learn Spanish and I'm going to learn the Spanish culture. And I was like, that's enough, that, that's a lot of things that I'm going to learn, I, I'm, I didn't count on learning anything more. Boy, was I surprised. I have come away from this just so enriched and just a new, another person. I mean, I've learned things about people and things about humanity and just things about being a human being. Learn about people and the way their minds work. They are just the same than they are in South Africa. You learn to read people at, um, you know, when you, when, you when you learn the language and you, and you listen to people, you pick up on social cues and you pick up on body language and you, you learn to, to focus on the body language to understand what they're trying to tell you because you might not always understand all the words or the sentence, you might not understand everything that they're saying to you, but from the, from the body language you can infer. So, yes, um, I think time for the videos. <laughs> um, well, apart from, you know, learning all these things that I've mentioned now, I've learned a few nice things that I also didn't expect, um, such as playing the ukulele. One of my friends who went home in June, she's like, well, you know, I have this ukulele, I can't take it back. You want to know what it is? So, thank you, Maddie. Thank you for the ukulele. I'm still using it. Here's just a few videos of me, um, a few clips of me, Playing the ukulele. <laughs> As I've said, I've learned Spanish, and apart from just speaking Spanish in the in everyday, day-to-day -day life conversations, I've also had to do to make some Spanish speeches. Um, both of these clips that I'm going to show you are goodbye speeches. The first one I did in May, when I had been here for about four months, and then the last one was in the beginning of December, and that was then my my final goodbye to my Rotary Club. Sí, España y el Colegio de Mercera es muy diferente que en Sudáfrica y que... Pero muchas gracias para tu pa 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 paciencia y amor y... Oh. Oh. Sí, gracias. 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 Sí, gracias.
quizás acá no, tenemos, no, no tengo lo, lo mismo asignaturas. Um, y sí, y a, a, amigos, amigas, y cada día es, hola, ¿qué tal? Y me encanta uh, uh, todo. Y próxima curso, cuando yo uh, vuelve, sí, espero que es lo mismo. Hace 300 días um, que llegué, llegué en España. Lo recuerdo como el, si, fuera, si fuera ayer. No hacía mucho frío para hacer uh, enero, pero tampoco era, era caluroso. Después de mucho estrés de coger mis maletas, caminé hacia las puertas de cristal en la sala de llegadas. Y allí, enfrente de mí, estaba mi nueva familia. Grandes sonrisas en sus caras. Mi año en España había comenzado. Desde entonces he hecho un montón de, uh, un montón de cosas, he experimentado, he, he experimentado un montón de cosas, cada una más especial que la anterior. Ha caminado por Madrid más veces que puedo contar. Yo conozco esta ciudad mejor que mi libro favorito. He, he tenido el privilegio de estar en un tren mientras se viaja por el campo ver nieve en Sierra Nevada, caminar, um, caminar a través de exuberantes valles verdes y escuchar cantos de pájaros a lo largo, nadar en el océano Atlántico en mayo, nadar en el mar Mediterráneo durante el famoso verano de, uh, de Europa, caminar sobre los mismos arpinos, suelos y caminos de miembros, um, de miembros de la, de la realeza han caminado por años y siglos. He perdido a medianoche en una ciudad más antigua que mi país. <risa> ver, <risa> um, ver, ver al anochecer sobre la sierra de Guadalajara. Ver al amanecer sobre el mar Mediterráneo. Ver tradiciones que han existido por 500 años sino más. Y todo este mientras está rodeado por familia y amigos nuevos y viejos. Gente que me quiere y que yo quiero. And then another cultural aspect of the Spanish life that I've come to come to learn and I've come to love is the music. And the one is from Semana Santa, which is Easter in Spain, and they have these really, really cool things. They're the processions, where from the one side of the town, or a town, or all the towns in Spain, from the one side to the other side, they carry these, um, these floats, but they're like ancient floats. Crucifixion story is then presented in these, in these floats, and like, they're made of wood, and you have all these like, people carrying it, and um, the, um, the marching music played by the marching bands, and then in the night, They have the choirs that sing, so it's really, really beautiful. I'm very thankful that I got to see that. We were in Madrid one day, and I just stumbled across these um, people playing the the, the doodle sack, the doodle pot. I don't know if they're actually playing something or if they're warming up, but I found it very interesting. And another clip is when we were in Andalusia. It was just a little parade for the Niño Jesús, the baby Jesus. The last piece of, of, of music section is then in summer, we went to a flamenco show and then they incorporated the, the Semana Santa music, they incorporated flamenco. It was loosely based on the opera Carmen. <laughs>
another compilation of clips is when they organized um, a games day for us as exchange students and the Rotex, the ex-exchange students were invited as well. We went to the Parque Juan Carlos and we, we had a, a really nice day. I even taught the exchange students a very famous South African phrase um, and then we all shouted it. <laughs> Um, which is National Spain Day, I guess you could you could translate it to. Where we went to watch all the military parades, which was something I had never seen, and it was really really it was very interesting. And you know, um, to be part of that and to to experience that while you're in Spain. so thankful for the opportunity I had to be able to come and to learn all these things, to learn another language, to learn another culture and to learn so much about not only other people, about myself as well. And it's a year I'll never forget, never, ever. I'll keep the people I met here close to my heart. Um, really, they've become like family to me. I'm very sad that I have to go, 
but I'm also very excited for what my future holds. Thank you to everyone who made this year what it was. It wouldn't have been possible without you guys. If you're someone who's interested in exchange and you want to know more, I have a blog and I have Instagram. So I'll put the links down below and then you can read the blog or you can go through my Instagram or you can even DM me if you have any questions about exchange or what it was like or what Spain was like. Anything. Um, so yes, and may everyone that is watching this have a blessed new year and I wish all of you all the best.